everyone, and welcome to the Marble Tour Week 7. We're already starting the first week with only 32 marbles. Here are the standings after Week 6. Now for Round 1, 32 marbles will race and 24 advance. Then the 24 will race down the same track and only 16 will advance. This is the track we have set up for today. We have the Hubelino Funnels that will send you back if you don't go to the right spot. We also have the de Triple Decker Funnels. And then we also have these new pieces, which you have may seen in the new uh, Fan Marble Race. So without further ado, let's get Marble Tour Week 7 kicked off. Everyone slowly going in. And now with everyone in the race, let's get this race started. We have Rattlesnake in the lead. Everyone's back and forth. Swamp making a move, and Swamp goes first into the mini funnel. Now everyone's piling through Sunset, trying to go through the center, but Shimmer takes it. Shimmer takes the lead, going through the Plinko, and Fireball passes Borealis for that third spot in the Plinko. Going through the yellow funnel now, we have uh, uh, Cloudy Sky takes it. Borealis is second, and now they're moving on to the Triple Decker Funnels. Cloudy Sky is right there on the bottom funnel, but Borealis making a move on the top. Will he drop first? Yes, he will. And will miss Cloudy Sky, which is a good thing. That gives him a huge lead adva advantage now. Here comes Swamp in the blue funnel. Swamp trying to take him over, but watch as Shimmer comes through. And Shimmer will take it through the far funnel. He'll be in that on the left side, but he'll be on the right funnel right there. He's kind of on the middle left funnel. But as watch as Swamp in the far right funnel is coming through. Looks as though Swamp is going to drop first. And yes, he does. And looks as though Sunset is going to drop before Shimmer. And now Sunset now has a good lead. But Borealis in that far one. Looks as though he's still in second place. Swamp now going through the green disc. The joiner mini funnel. And now Ocean Foam is moving on through the green funnel. But Swamp is the one that takes it through through the green merger track and now is on the final blue funnel going up to the elevator to tackle the Cubalino funnels and then maybe the finish line. Here we go, Swamp is going up the elevator with uh, Sunset and Shimmer not far behind. Swamp is now going up the elevator. You can see what the marbles are going to have in store, those two windmills. And now Swamp is now on the first of five Cubalino funnels. Not four, five. Swamp has a lead, but he goes to the wrong path. You can see it will send you right back to the blue funnel, which gives you a huge delay. Shimmer now must make it, but it looks like Ocean Foam is going to go through first, but he falls. And now he will be 32nd in the Marble Tour this week, and that's not good. Glacier, however, makes it. Glacier is last on the standings, barely survived, and Cucumber will be 31st. Bengal Tiger is moving on through the last Ubelino funnel. Bengal Tiger is fifth on the standings. This could be huge if he has a good week, and he will win. Glacier not far behind. He's in 32nd. Keep in mind, Sunset is third. Sam Samurai is fourth. Sorry. And Rattlesnake is fifth. Rattlesnake is going to have a good week after barely surviving with that good showing in week five. Borealis coming in 7th, and Swamp came right back from failing the first attempt and will be 8th place. Who will be ninth? It looks as though Neon Lights will. Fruit Punch will take 10th, and Emerald is going to come through for 11th. Now, you can see all the Cubalino funnels, those three coming right down, you can see. It looks as though we see Crystal Ball going backwards in there. And now Cloudy Sky coming in 14th. Over Easy and Rainforest take 12th and 13th. Plankton now comes in 15th and Purple Puff in 16th. Amber is moving on for 17th. And Savage Speeder will be 18th. Savage Speeder, as you may know, is 4th on the standings, doing extremely well. Shimmer is in top, is in 3rd place, I believe. And now he's in 19th. Electricity will come in and get 20th place. And Coral Reef, who had a really good start, will be 21st. And it looks as though Crystal Ball fell, so he will be 29th. That is not good. Sunday will be 22nd. And if Snowball can catch Fireball for the last spot, he'll make it. But otherwise, it looks as though Fireball is going to get the last spot. Can Snowball come back? The answer is no. 
So with that, our Marbles Eliminated includes Sunburn at 31st, but also top marbles including Banana and Crystal Ball. Now with that, we're moving on to round two, where the 24 marbles will race for 16 spots into the next round. You can see with the standings that it is utter mayhem in these funnels. Neon Light's making it through, but it looks as though it's going to be Rainforest. No, Sunday! You can't even see with all the marbles crowding around. Imagine how the marbles feel with all of that chaos. Electricity coming through first, Purple Puff second, and Sunset will be third. You can see there's a big jam with Purple Puff, Shimmer, and uh, Borealis. Speaking of Shimmer, Shimmer is moving on and will be first place into the Triple Decker Funnels. Now, Wilkie dropped first. He's in that bottom funnel. You can see circling around, but Over Easy is making move on the top. Over Easy drops first and will stay clean, stay, stay clear of Shimmer's path and will be first. But watch Shimmer coming back. Shimmer wants that lead. Will he get it? Yes, he will. And Shimmer will overtake Over Easy, but Over Easy coming through too quick, and that will give him the first spot. You can see Over Easy on the far right, but Purple Puff taking the lead over Over Easy. And now Purple Puff looks to have the lead, but watch Shimmer. Watch Shimmer in that uh, kind of middle to the left funnel, but Purple Puff will still have the lead. Emerald will be third. He's on that kind of towards the middle right funnel, but. Purple Puff is already through, going on to the green mini funnel where they will merge into the green path and then finally the blue funnel to take them up to the Hubelino spot. Shimmer in the blue, you can see him coming through right now, but he's too late for Purple Puff. Now Purple Puff will still have his lead over easy trying to make a move, but here come a bunch of marbles including Bangle Tiger and Rattlesnake. Purple Puff is the one through with Shimmer second. And Bengal Tiger's coming through, and yes, he'll pass over easy for third. Purple Puff gonna come through the two windmills, and now going through to the Hubelino Falls. Shimmer not far behind, and Bengal Tiger will be third. Oh, it's utter mayhem in this Hubelino funnel. Shimmer comes through first. Emerald, out of nowhere, is now in the lead. Fireball falls and will be 24th. And Emerald falls into the blue funnel, still in the race. But not looking though he's gonna win. Sunset or Sunday, sorry, is 23rd. Cheater Sunset is now coming in to the lead, but Bangle Tiger takes it away. Could Bangle Tiger be the first marble ever to win the two races in round one? He will if Sunset won't catch him. And that's the case. Bangle Tiger will win once again. And now Sunset will come in second unless Rattlesnake has other thoughts. But Rattlesnake is too far behind. Sunset will be second place, and now Rattlesnake will come in third. Borealis looking to be in fourth place, but Earth is chasing, sorry, that's Swamp. Swamp is chasing him, but here comes Emerald. After Emerald fail it, he failed earlier, he's going to come in and try to get a nice spot, and it looks as though he's going to get a really good spot, but here comes Fruit Punch, and Fruit Punch will be fifth place. Fruit Punch will be in the second heat, and so will Savage Beater and Swamp. Glacier is going to come in eighth. Remember, Glacier is last on the standings, so this could be pretty big. He may bump up a couple spots. Neon Lights is eighth, Glacier is ninth, and Purple Buff will come in tenth after having a solid lead for a little bit of the race. Minship 11th, and Coral Reef will be 12th. Over Easy is 13th, Earth is 14th, and Emerald's 15th. Now this is going to be a tight race for 16th. We have Amber and Sapphire racing for it. It looks as though Amber has the upper edge. But Sapphire comes in out of nowhere and will steal the last spot. So Amber will be eliminated along with Shimmer, Cheetah Rainforest, and Plankton. This is the track we have set up for today. It will be in the same style we had in week six. The four stages include the jump, the balance beam, now with a little drop, a new obstacle split paths, and finally, the trip bar, which is e which is harder than it looks. Now, we'll start off with Heat 1. Top 4 and the bottom 4 who qualified in the last race are racing in this heat. Who's going to come out of that mini funnel first? And we the first to take on the race. It'll be Sapphire. Boreal is coming right behind. They're staying neck and neck. But Bengal Tiger has a good strategy staying behind, having less time on the course which is a higher chance of you making it to the next round. Sapphire is going to come through, but Borealis comes through and will stay on. 
Keep in mind the winner of this race will get 50 bonus points. Sunset will not move on or get the 50 bonus points because he fell and so is Over Easy and Borealis. And Emerald fell too, which means we have our final four moving on, which include Rattlesnake, Sapphire, Earth, and Bengal Tiger. Sapphire comes through, but it looks as though the elevator will be jammed. So Bengal Tiger is really far behind. He will stay on this course as long as he can make the trip bar. We are going to fix the elevator jam. Yes, he will. So we have our four marbles coming through. Now we have the elevator working, which will be pretty bad for Bengal Tiger because he was behind. Now he's going to race with all four. Sapphire will not make it, he, but he will make it to the next round. He just won't get the 50 bonus points. Earth has fallen as well, and Bengal Tiger will win another race. And now with that, we're moving on to Heat 2. With these eight marbles, we'll see if they can get four spots into the next round. Purple Puff coming through ahead, but Coral Reef is coming through. But Glacier is the one who pops out first, and he's stuck on the Plinko. Looks as though maybe he's a little daunted by that course ahead of him. Or he's just catching his breath. I don't know. Either way, he's coming through first with Coral Reef right behind. Savage Speeder in third. Glacier coming through. Coral Reef right behind. Coral Reef takes a hook shot and will fail. Coral Reef will not make it. And nor will Glacier. Purple Puff comes through, and that's good for him. Minship as well. We'll move on to that funnel. And so will Swamp. Can Minship come through the split pass? No! He goes to the wrong side. And Savage Speeder bypasses Swamp and takes him to the wrong path. Which means we will have our final four. Look at that. That was a crazy move by Savage Speeder. Fruit Punch fails the trip bar. So he will be fourth place. And now we are down to only three. Including Purple Puff, Savage Speeder, and Neon Lights. All of them want the 50 bonus points. Because that would be really helpful. Who is going to get it? Savage Speeder moves on and will be in the funnel. And he's going to come through. And yes, he stays on. Gets a lot of bounce. But avoids that bad track. Purple Puff coming through. Going through the split pass and he makes it. But Savage Peter fails the trip bar. Neon Lights still exists. He's just really far behind. Purple Puff nails the trip bar. Now with him on the elevator. All comes down to what Neon Lights does. And he goes to the wrong path. So Purple Puff wins and will get the 50 bonus points. Now with that the marbles eliminated will include Glacier. And top marbles include Minship, Emerald, and Over Easy. So now we are moving on to the championship race in this round. These eight will move on to the top five. Earth now has the ladies coming through first. But Savage Beater right behind Savage Beater takes a hook shot and moves through. And now uh, it looks as though Earth is moving to fourth place. And Bengal Tiger and Neon Lights are staying behind. They have that same strategy in their qualifying races in this uh, round. Earth comes through and misses, and so does Savage Beater, and they will not make the Stepladder Finals. Sapphire and Purple Puff might... Oh, but Purple Puff actually fails. So we have our top five. It all matters who gets what seed. Sapphire will be fifth, and Rattlesnake will be fourth. They fall neck and neck. And now they will be fifth and fourth, and will race in the first race on our newly designed track for week seven. Neon Lights will be third. Will Bengal Tiger continue his winning streak? Or will Fruit Punch finally want to win a race for once? Fruit Punch stays, but he fails. And Bengal Tiger will win. Will go four for four on all the races he's competed in. Now for round three, Aiden North Racing suggested if we could use a Gravitrack set for round three. And that's exactly what we built. There's the track we have, and this is the format for the Stepladder Finals. Let's start off with our first race with Rattlesnake versus Sapphire. This is best two out of three. They're moving very slowly, but Sapphire moves just a little bit faster and will win round one. Moving on to round two now. Rattlesnake has the lead. He needs this win. Sapphire making it close, but Rattlesnake will win. Let's look at that slow-mo. Yes, Rattlesnake took that race. Now we are moving on to the final round. Who will move on? Will it be Rattlesnake on the winning streak or Sapphire? Sapphire has a crazy lead and he will win. So with that, Sapphire will move on to the next round and he will face third seed Neon Lights. 
The tracks, Neon Lights chose this track. Let's see if it will be good for him. Sapphire starts with the early lead, but Neon Lights takes it back. And Neon Lights will win the first race. We are moving on to round two. Can Neon Lights win again? Sapphire now has the lead. He's moving through, and yes, Sapphire will win. Now we are at the final round. Can Sapphire come back, or will Neon Lights move on to the next round? Neon Lights has a huge lead, and he will keep it. And we'll move on to the semifinals. Now you can see here we have Neon Lights and Fruit Punch. Fruit Punch chose the right track, which has been winning a lot today. Fruit Punch now has the lead, and Fruit Punch looks like he's going to win, and yes, he does. So now we are moving on to round two, where Neon Lights really needs to step up his game, or he will be eliminated. Looks so like Fruit Punch had the lead, but Neon Lights took it back there. Now we are moving on to the final round once again. Who will win? The race is off. Neon Lights has the lead. Fruit Punch takes it back. But here comes Neon Lights, and Neon Lights will take it. And now Neon Lights is moving on to the final race where he will face Bengal Tiger for the championship. As you may remember last week, Bengal Tiger was the same seed as Neon Lights but lost to Over Easy. Bengal Tiger now wins the first race. That was really close. Let's look at this in slow-mo. You can really see that Bengal Tiger did win that race, but it was really close. Neon Lights put up a fight. Moving on to round two. Neon Lights now has the lead. Neon Lights looks as though he's going to take this race. And this is the final round. Who is going to win? Marvel 2 or Week 7? Bengal Tiger has the lead. Neon Lights coming back, but Bengal Tiger has the lead. Watch Neon Lights. Oh, my goodness. That was too close to call. I don't know who took it. The judges say Bengal Tiger won. And now with that, let's move on to the standings. You can see Bengal Tiger and Purple Puff added 50 points to their scores. You can see how the points are a little bit different. Now with all those points, what? how does it affect the standings? Bengal Tiger with a 300-point lead over everyone. Now with that crazy week, make sure to like and subscribe for more content.